Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss a quick introduction to linear approximation and just basically show why it's really useful and, and sometimes necessary when trying to calculate values of random functions. Uh, before I get to it, I just want to go over, let's just say you have a graph like this. Uh, this is yx uh, coordinates here. And you basically have just a random uh, curve like this. Call this f of x right here. And let's say at this point, a, let's just call this at this point, is at x equals 2. You had x equals a right here, and then uh, if you draw a horizontal line across like this, this at this point right here is f of a, then, then uh, basically to approximate near this a, if you were to draw a tangent line to it, look like this right here, let's just draw a tangent line directly across it. So, I'll just make it a bit closer to the line. I think this is good. Yeah, so this is better. So if we call this, let's say this line L of X right here, as you can see, near this uh, part right here, near near X equals to A, this line L of X, which is just a line we can easily find an equation for it, it's really close to basically F of X right here. So we could even write L of X, is is equal is a, approximately f of x near a, and now this is kind of the, serves as the basis for linear approximation, because instead of dealing with this f of x curve, which could be complicated, we can, we can actually deal with a linear function or a line, basically l of x near a, and it, we could approximate it's about it's about the same as f of x. And here I've uh, just written some notes on what I just said. Basically, thus we can approximate f of x as a linear function, i.e. a line near x equals a. And also, basically, the idea is that it might be easy to calculate a value f of a. So we could find this value, for example, for a lot of functions, but difficult or even impossible to find nearby values of f for, for basically complicated functions. Uh, and, and thus we settle for the easily computable values of the linear function l of x right here. Yeah, so now all we have to do is uh, just to f solve for an equation for L of X, and it's, and it's pretty easy because we know it's tangent to F of X, and it's all you know, F of X at X equals to A, and also the equation of a line is just basically L of X equals to MX plus B. You can see more on equation of line in my, in my video, uh, in my earlier video, in the video links below. But basically where M is just the slope, B is the uh, Y intercept, so M is equal to slope equals to rise or run or equals to basically the derivative of this one but we're looking at uh, at x equals a so it's gonna be the derivative l prime of a um, yeah at a right here so th that's what we're looking at but we know that since uh, it's tangent to f of x at x equals to a we know at x equals to a then we have l prime of a equals to f prime of a right here and also yeah they sh so basically both functions share the same slope at x equals a and also they they share the same value or l of a is equal to f of a so we have this part right here so we could initially put this uh, derivative inside here remember this is just equals to m so we can get l of x is equal to f prime of a times x plus b. So we have this part, and now if we plug in this property that we know at x equals a, so we'll have l of a is equal to f of a, and then this equals to f prime, just plug this inside there, f prime of a times a plus b. So now we can solve for b, and b would just be equal to, just move this to the left side, so f of a minus f prime of a times it by a right here. So now we can plug this inside uh, basically this function. So we put this inside here. So we get L of X is equal to F prime of A times it by X and plus F. Now that we plug into the B, F of A minus F prime of A times A. So now if we factor out this F prime of A out into this one, well, we're going to get basically L of X is equal to move this over over to the, in the front f of a plus take this f of f prime of a out of there x minus a right here so it's just an x minus a so this is this is our, our linear function right now but near yes yeah, so basically near uh, x equals to a we get basically l of x is a is approximately the function that we're trying to approximate
f of x right here. So we could write basically f prime of x is approximately equal to f of a plus, which is basically write this top part inside there, f prime of a, x minus a, basically near x equals to a right here. And here I'm just boxing it out. So this is our linear approximation. Yeah, and, and it is basically called the linear approximation or tangent line approximation, uh, basically of f at a right here. So this is basically a, an easy linear approximation for any general function. And this will come in handy when you're dealing with complicated functions that you can't easily easily compute. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this, uh, remember you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And also I'm going to go over some uh, example videos in my later videos to come. So make, make sure to uh, watch those as well once they're up. Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.